Hello everyone, Sig Sigmalator here. Welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. I think we're all done in here now. So we can move on with our lives. Yep, okay. Let's go, Dina. Oh yes, we need to go, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and again, up and around. Hey, I think it's this way. Are we not going to get another horse? If there's no replacing Shimmer. We got over. Now what? What indeed? Ah, here we go. Hey, Dina. Yeah. Give me your hand. Here we go. Hey, that round building. It looks like the TV station from your map. Yeah. Come on. All right, we're nearly there. Have to meet this. I don't know how I would have done all this without you. Leah person. Look at you. Shut up. I never would have let you do this by yourself. I'm glad I'm here too. Yeah, you might not be saying that later. Oh shit! What the fuck was that? It ran into a trap. A what? Explosive traps. Watch where you're walking. Oh great. Yeah, just stand out in the open, Dina. Nothing bad will happen. Better attach this. Right. Is there anything of value in here? Trading card. So, no, not really. Del Candelabra, whatever. Uh, a beacon of the, a beacon of the dark, darkest night. This heroine earned her moniker when people first saw fire emitting from her hands and flowing through her hair. Originally from the volcanic Uvagine region of France, I can't pronounce that. So whatever Uvagine, is that how you pronounce it? She fell into an active lava pool while protecting her little brother from Dr. Erkman's henchmen. Left for dead, she emerged from the pool alive and capable, capable of wielding fire as a weapon. So long as she doesn't get cold. So long as she doesn't get cold, okay. While not working with the Society of Champions, she spends her days hunting Dr. Erkman, whom she believes is holding her brother captive. Uh huh. I see, said the blind man. Oop, shotty gun shells, thank you. Alright, so I foolishly hope there might have been a way through here, but there isn't. Ah, trap.
Damn it, I was hoping they'd come running through. Did that thing just crawl and then die? Okay. Can I deactivate these traps at all? No, okay. These will know what they look like. And I can use them to my advantage, so that's definitely a plus. I think we gotta get down this. Yeah, I agree. First. Where are you going? Hey, hold on a second. I see a ladder, I climb it because there's probably goodies. Yes, lots of goodies, thank you. Really? Still no scars. Four more hours of, of, on this shit. Fuck. So you draw, drew a bunch of tits and balls. <sighs> Alright then. I'm not judging. Too much. Any wolf? I didn't see any, but it's hard to tell. Oh, was I supposed to be on the lookout? Alright. This is going to be a one-way trip, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to climb back up then and see... Did I miss my chance? Alright. Oh, turning my torch on and off. Okay. If I was supposed to do it, I'd mess it up, so too late now. Alright. I wonder what that was for a second. It was Ellie having a giggle. It's Leah chick. What if she's gone by the time we get there? I don't want to think about that right now. Oh, we'll just look for clues. We should put some of those trip wires up around Jackson. Might be a good way to deal with the hordes. Yeah, that'd be smart. They'll probably blow up some stragglers. We put up signs, warning them. Look, they can't read. We'll make drawings. You know, like a foot tripping over a wire. And a big I bet I could build them. I don't like you. I want it in writing. Can I check out this tank? Silence from the Joels. Trip wire to hold town. How did people get around? It was just him. Wait, he lived alone in an entire town? He had trust issues. That's sad. Kept him alive. Yeah, that's Bill. It's not like you have to choose between being alive and being close to people. Not black and white. You take a risk, though, right? You'd take a bigger risk being alone. But what if he got hurt? What if he got sick? What happens if someone else gets hurt or sick? You know, this added, you know, burden that puts you in a worse position. Yeah, I guess that's also true. Yeah. Poor old Bill. I like Bill. He was a bit of an ass, but 
you can understand his point of view, really. And uh, the the front the uh, setup he had with Joel and Tess was uh, tolerance tolerable at best, hey. as far as he was concerned. Who do you think it is? Uh, someone who wants us to feel her love. You think she's related to the wolves? Oh yeah. Oh no. It's kind of fucking weird. Would it be an apocalypse without a crazy religious occult? Is that not worthy of putting in your notebook? Dina, get out of the way. <coughs> These look fresh. Horse. Look, it's Tommy's. Well, it's Tommy's it's horse. A number on this one. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. Sorry. It's just Must have taken off on foot. You good to keep going? Yeah, I'm fine. Please. Hmm. I are suspicious. Right, you guys don't definitely don't have anything on you. Right, so Tommy is also Sans horse. Make sure I'm <coughs> God damn it. I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Good job, Ellie. How'd this city get so wrecked? Boston wasn't like this, was it? Boston didn't have a full-blown civil war. Fireflies never put up this kind of resistance. No. That's true, so the wolves are a, like a more extreme version of the fireflies then. Unless this was the military. I don't see any wolves. No. Not count our chickens, though. <clears throat> you see the TV station? Yeah, it's that way. Uphill. Oh. More bodies. More shot bodies. Tommy definitely came this way. I bet he went through there. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it. But before we... Stop! Tripwire. Oh, shit. The catch. They're all over. Probably for infected. Still. One wrong step. Yeah. Let's be careful. <laughs> Dina, there's a tripwire there. Jim Check out these lockers Can 
and craft anything to get rid of you stuff? No. Oh, upgrading workbench. Okay. Right, I can't do anything with you. What about the shotgun? No. And that's all done. through here much with all this there's that silver lining right I'm gonna take my time which I don't run into any trip wires like that one right there this tall grass is making me nervous yeah they're getting tricky to see Sneaky. If you heard that, I apologise. It's my roommate. I have to try and edit her out. Oh, I want, what was that? Another one of these. Bizarre. Bahariza. <coughs> Young Baha once had a promising career in science, but her stint as Dr. Erkman's assistant ended in catastrophe during one of Erkman's unauthorized experiments. She was doused with an early dangerous form of his strength giving formula causing all her muscles, even the ones in her face, to become impossibly swole. Jesus. Ridiculously strong and a danger to everyone around her, she was shunned by society. On her, on her own for years, seeking revenge, she recently found a friend and ally in the aged and frail Nalady. Nalady the youthful. Proving that opposites attract. Alright. Guessing that's probably what I'm going to find later, or missed entirely. Good to go. <coughs> oh, always check the notice board. M, make sure you take. <coughs> oh my god, stop it! M, make sure you take the envelope to the bank before Monday a.m. Made the combo the last six digits to Stacy's phone number. Figured that'd be the easy way for easy for you to remember. Hehe. <laughs> Two hundred six five 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 zero one something. All right. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he had no legs, that's why. Okay, so it's O one. And what did that note say? I'm not going to be able to force this, am I? Was it this one? Made the combo the last six digits of Stacy's phone number. So, 5501. 
I'm not going to be able to force force that, am I? Is there like a missing piece on here somewhere? Ah! Missing cat, Atlas. Five five oh one two three. Oh, damn it. Wait, was that not it? The last sit. Oh. Five, five, oh, one, two, three. So, okay, so it's not that one then. Anything in here? Made the combo the last six digits to Stacy's phone number. Figured that'd be easy for you to remember. Okay, so it's not five five oh one two three. Oh, I might have to give up on this one. Oh, hello, for a good time, call Stacy. 550133. What's with the cat? Watching you. Okay. 550133. Yeah, thank you, Stacy. That was indeed a good time. Okay, so there's nowhere else to go through there. Uh, maybe I was meant to go that way. Oh, yeah, that's right. I couldn't go that way. <coughs> right. I think I know what to do. More of this stuff. Huh. Feel her love. Why do I get the feeling it's not going to be the kind of love we want? Oh, okay. <coughs> yep, thought as much. Alright, which way? This way. Hmm. 
probably have to go through. Yeah, I see you in the in the grass. There's a TV station. I don't think we can get around this one. Hmm. Hang on. Oh, easy. Well, how else were we gonna get through? <coughs> you think someone heard that? Well, it was pretty loud. Keep your eyes peeled. All right, I see. Nice little tutorial there. Take the brick. This bit's f this is bit uh, is quite tense. I can go up there, I can go up here. All roads lead to Rome, apparently. <coughs> Whoop! being subtle right now maybe Leah will come to us yeah or they might be waiting to ambush us true did I pick up a replacement no I probably should just yes I just learned these are gonna be very useful That was easy. Come on, Dina. There it is. Stay low. Watch the windows, because that's a perfect sniper spot, I imagine. too open I don't trust it at all it's probably not the fact that there aren't any bodies lying around suggests that this is not a kill zone area but they might have just cleared the bodies out I'll probably climb up but I want to check out this area first make sure there's Nothing to scavenge. Like pieces for upgrading. A wrench. <coughs> okay. Looks like climbing is our only option. But maybe not that way. Sure, there's no potential items to scavenge around there. Is 
Yeah, I'm trying to be stealthy here, Dean, and you're just walking to the open. It's brutal. Tommy, do this. Let's get inside. Ooh. Could I be getting a bow and arrow soon? Right, okay, where's the way in? I see. Well, that's one way to get in, I suppose. Probably made it a bit too obvious. Alright, we've made it to the station. Is this my chance to make it big on TV? Well, that stuff is all full. Be careful. Ooh, an axe. I'll keep my machete though. I like my machete. Okay, nothing around here. I can't pick up a lot of stuff, but that's fine. Okay. They just gutted them and then left them to hang with their guts out. That's it's a message. That is nasty. Please do. I hope not. Keep your eyes open. Right, I'm not going to go up, upstairs yet. I am 100% in agreement with you there, Dina. Oh, that is that is grim. No, I can't cut them down. Fair enough. That we're done down here. Let's head up.
Yes, what have you got for me? Nothing I can take. Cool, thanks. No. If I followed you, I'll miss a lot of stuff. Just because I can't pick this stuff up doesn't mean I don't need to search for it. Alright. Okay. <coughs> How do you know which way which way to go? Hmm? You're gonna make me suspicious of you too, Dina. Yes, more of these. All right. Don't be impatient. Ooh. Shit. Yeah, thought as much. Another body up there. I don't like this. We're too exposed. We have to search all of it. We'll find Leah. Just be careful. Step here. But yeah, take your own advice there, Ellie. You dicking about on the ledge like that. So Tommy probably did some of these guys in, but he certainly didn't hang them up and gut them. Or gut them and then hang them up. Even Joel wasn't that barbaric. I've got another card. Camilla. Kim Miller, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that properly. After her family lost their house to greedy developers, young scientist Camilla Green, Green's pu public protest fell on deaf ears. Frustrated, she turned her research in animal behaviour into a means of public political action. Many late nights at the lab culminated in a device that allows her to te telepathically communicate with animals. Now as a member of the so Society of Champions, Camilla brings her animal allies to places around the world where civil strife and avarice threaten to f threaten to force people from their homes. And when evil doers don't listen to her, she lets her animals do the talking. Okay, so she's like a super badass Doctor Doolittle. Slightly cooler than Aquaman, but not quite. Oh, uh, that was the door we couldn't get through. Right. Right, downstairs blocked. What is that? It can wait. We'll grab all these pills. Check all these areas out first. I mean, it, it, I may not have to, but I don't want to miss anything just in case. 
Rue, a little bird told me those scars you brought in from from the coast talked. I heard Isaac is quite impressed with you. I know you've been having doubts, but you've got got, got to power through right now. Show him what happened at the coast wasn't a one-off and you'll be set for life. Think about how few people get this chance. I'm proud of you, Dad. Oh, are the scars the religious people? Why are you skipping frames? I've only just noticed that. Hopefully this is usable footage. Right. Oh, it's Leah. She's dead. That's her. Leah. You sure? Yes. Guess the universe really wanted her dead, huh? There's nothing on her. Let's check her bag. Dina. Hmm. That's all of them. That's New Jackson. Look at their fucking smiles. Abby and Owen? That's her. That's the one who killed him. Three down, right? Yeah, maybe we should, but I'm going to have to end this episode here because I have to find out why uh, frames are being skipped. So my apologies if this episode is a bit jarring. I'm going to have to tweak the settings again. Thank you, Streamlabs. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been The Last of Us 2, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.